These are 10 beginner tips for new players in Pavlov Shack. But before we get into it, make sure you guys smack that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pavlov Shack content. And if you want to help support me as a creator, consider checking out my Patreon. Link in the description. Let's get into this. Number one, try out virtual stock if you're new to the game because it can help your aim a lot. Go to settings, then click player and scroll down to virtual stock. And usually it's off, but I have it turned on. So this is with virtual stock. And as you can see, it holds the gun a lot more steady. It keeps it in place. Even when you shoot the gun, and this is without virtual stock. My hands shake a lot whenever I'm holding the gun and it's a lot less precise than virtual stock is. Recoil is a lot harder to stabilize as well whenever you don't have virtual stock on. If you're new to the game, make sure you try virtual stock. And the reason I say try is because virtual stock is not for everyone. Some people like it, some people don't. I am one of those people that are in favor of virtual stock. Number two, whenever you buy a weapon with a scope on it, such as the AUG, hold the gun out sideways and move the scope towards the front of the weapon. Moving the sight forward allows the weapon to have less kick whenever you're aiming down sights. This is with it moved back. And this is with it moved forward. It's a tiny difference, but it is the difference that can be a game changer. Number three. When you're starting out in Pavlov Shack, make sure you take time to learn all the maps because players with map knowledge are going to have a better advantage than players without map knowledge. So make sure you take time to go offline and find the best spots and angles on each and every map and learn where all the bomb sites and search and destroy are. This will help you out tremendously. If you want to learn all the best spots and angles, I have a map guide series that you can watch by clicking the annotation in the corner. Number four. When starting out in Pavlov Shack, the game might be a little too fast paced for some people. To get used to this, I recommend trying out the Kill House. It can help you out with your aim and reaction time. Plus, it's a fun little mini game to see how fast you can clear the Kill House. Definitely check this out if you're a new player. If you want to access the Kill House, click Training, then click Kill House. Number five. This one's actually pretty basic, but if you're new to the game, go ahead and play the tutorial. A lot of people just hop straight into online mode and completely forget that there's a tutorial in the game. I, I see a lot of people asking how to play the game, and they don't even play the tutorial, so they don't even know how to plant the bomb and search and destroy. If you haven't played the tutorial and you're brand new to the game, go ahead and try it out. Number six. Make sure that you use grenades and flashbangs. I can't emphasize enough how important these utilities are. You can throw a grenade across the map to get early kills in the beginning of a round and search and destroy it and that can be a game changer. And you can stun your enemies with flashbangs to get an easy kill or to plant the bomb. So make sure that you are buying grenades and flashbangs. Number seven. This one might be a no brainer for a lot of veteran players, but if you're a new player, make sure you go to gear and buy the armor for a thousand dollars because it comes with plates and a helmet. And when you have a helmet on, it can save you from getting headshot, say from a couple weapons like a 50 cal and an AK. But for other guns like the M4, your helmet will save you from getting insta-killed in a headshot. So make sure you buy armor. It can save your life. Number eight, you can actually look at your watch to see your health meter and your armor meter. Your health is indicated by the red bar on the right and your armor is the little white bar right there. And to see if you have a helmet on, you can look to see if that icon is right there on your watch. And I know it's basic information, but some people still don't know this and they ask, do I have a helmet on? So make sure you look at your watch to make sure you have armor and health. Number nine, make sure you take full advantage of the shooting range. It can help you practice with all the weapons and get the recoil patterns down. It's a great way to get better at the game without having people messing you up. Just go to training, click shooting range, and click start. And here you can have all the weapons in the game with all the attachments. You can play with every gun in the game and see which ones are your favorites and which ones you like. And you can also change the distance of the targets by going over here and clicking the up button and clicking the red button to stop. And if you come over here to the right, you have a little mini game. Now you just click that and then you click the red button to start it. Click it again. So as you can see, this will help you practice your aim and get better at the game. Number 10, pressing the A button on your controller will switch your gun's firing mode. This mainly works with SMGs and assault rifles and some pistols like the Glock. And the thing about single burst fire is that at long distances, this can help you get extra kills because your gun isn't kicking up so much. See, this is single fire. And this is automatic. When the enemies are far away, change it to single. And it'll help you get a kill, but when they're up close, change it to automatic. You'll get kills. If any of these tips helped you guys out, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, guys, peace out.